Welcome back to Excellence, continuing coverage of Week 13 Street Stock Action, this time coming to you from USA Lakeland, Florida. Ken Jones, Tim Bannon, alongside for the conclusion of our Week 13 Street Stock broadcast. This is the final race of the season, and boy, Tim, if this race holds up to the last race that we saw happening at Southern National, we are in store for a real treat. Yeah, we really are. I mean, that was an absolute barn burner out there. Last lap pass and last lap chaos. Let's see what happens here this time. We're happy to be with us here. A front row full of Davids. David King in the number 13 is your pole sitter. On the outside is David Leonard in the number 8. We're happy to be with us. The pace car is off. 25 life laps of exciting action awaits as the green flag comes out and we are racing here at Lakeland. Well, look at Jay Z here. He, JC, excuse me. Trying to pull his way down to the inside there. Everybody's able to navigate the way through. Turns one and two. Okay, now down to the back straight away for the first time. A little contact here. We got a lead change. Number eight takes over the lead. That's David Leonard taking over the top spot here from David King. He's going to drop him back to the second position. Here's a battle going on for third. The three car has as a preferred line right now. That's David Vegas. Boy, it's a lot of Davids up here in this race trying to put themselves one, two, three. Yeah, but that 17 car is kind of messing it up here. That's a uh, Dalton e Ely messing up the parade of Davids here. Saw King trying to look to the inside of Leonard. And that 13. Some more contact. Oh, we got the 13 going loose and into the wall. Bump and run happening early here. 13 still having problems. Let's see if he's able to gather it up. It looks like more cars are having some problems. And then D2. Here's a 9 car. The 13's going to pile into him. That's Elijah Muscal having some problems. And now the 12 car. Looks like he's had some problems too. That's Evan Canfield. The front end of his car all torn up. Well, I tell you. We're just some of the radio communications here. After that crash here. And it, I do not think that the... The 13 car is very happy with the, the 17. We'll have to keep our eye on this and see how it develops. Meanwhile, here we have a battle for second. Jace, JC has taken over the second position, but the number three car is trying to take it from him. That's David Vegas. So now we have another car up in here, sandwiching up our David three. Somebody back there was having some real problems. It's the 14 car, I think. That's Gene Edward Flower having some problems there's oh it's like, the, it's like the 13 car is definitely not happy no, he definitely isn't happy here we, we saw him trying to gun here for the 17 boy that 17 is going to have a hard race ahead of him obviously tempers flaring on the short tracks we ex come to expect that this, this type of racing this close quarters yeah, I mean, we've been talking about safety rating for, like, every single race since, like, the first race we ran. And this is the seventh race we've ran here. And safety rating is something that's very important. I mean, you, you got to make sure that you don't get into somebody and mess them up and end up getting a bunch of four or five X's, six X's and whatnot, and then getting yourself either disqualified or just getting yourself demoted by your license because these things add up. Obviously, some of these drivers here is not really thinking too much about that. Battle going on for the f fifth position. Fowler looking to the inside of Ely. He's going to drop him back. Looking there at the number three car. Trying to close in on the number one. It's David Vegas. But up front, the number eight of David Leonard is setting sail on that Grinch-sponsored machine. at this battle a little bit further back. This is for fourth on back you're looking at right there. Fowler, Eli. Bastian Donkers involved in this here, number six. He's got the 11 car of Mir Silva. And that ally sponsor machine. I see, the, I see the 13 car in the pits right there, so th that's a good sign for the 17, so he don't have to sweat for right now. But if that 13 car comes back out here, I, w I would really be mindful of him. 13 car, very upset. David 
David King started on the pole, but contact between him and the number 17 disputing over position early in the race has relegated him to a poor finish and he has not been shy to let the 17 know that he is not happy about what happened. Here's the 14 car starting to draw in on the back bumper of David Vegas. We could see another David getting dropped back in position. You're on board right now with the number 17. See Dalton looking up there at Gene Fowler. That Lowe's Golf Sponsor car. Oh, here's the 13. There's some contact there. Here they are. They're getting all knotted up. Wow. 13. Obviously, as we said before, he is not very happy with the 17, but the 17 was able to hold on there. Well, let's keep our eye on this here because, like I said, every time that 13 car passes by the 17 car, <laughs> we've seen him let himself know that he is not happy with how that 17 car raced him. He's got a point to be not happy. I mean, it's, it's lap three, and we saw early that he gave him several shots going to the corner, and it was definitely unnecessary. You hit somebody in the middle of the corner, you know, you're going to bump them and wreck them. And that's kind of what happened to him. Meanwhile, up front, looks like the leader has his back bumper all filled up with the number one of JC as he's starting to draw in on him. Boy, JC's been coming here. It's like that car has been unleashed and he's just really drawn up on the back here, this eight here. Ten laps to go. David Leonard is your leader. There's the 12 car back on track. Let's keep our eye on him. Well, let's watch, see where this is. Here's the 17 car coming up. See the 17 car still on the track, so... Looks like the 12, 13 was not successful that time. But speaking of being successful, number one car is trying to be successful in taking over this lead. He has drawn it down to about a car length and a half on the eight car. Yeah, that one car has definitely got the best car at the moment right now here. This, this eight car is just trying to hold on here and try to make it to the end here. Let's see what happens here if he's able to do it here. Because he's really struggling here. The 12 car that you see there is not on the lead lap. That's driven by Evan Canfield. He was involved in a crash earlier in the race. These lap cars that come into the pits and they get fresh tires, so they're able to keep up with these leaders pretty good here. Kind of sweating the leaders a little bit. There's the 13, the back on track. Let's, let's see if there's anything that's going to happen as a result of this. But look at this battle here going on for the lead. Here's JC looking to the inside. Right on the back bumper of the 8. Now JC looks down to the inside. He's going to make his move side by side battle here for the lead. JC draws down to the inside. JC, a little bit of contact. Still side by side, these cars battle. Number eight of David holding the outside line, doing an exceptional job holding off JC, but JC has the preferred line. He's driving it down here, holding that bottom line, and now he's going to take over the top spot. JC is your new leader here at Southern National. We have five laps to go. Leonard trying to draw up on the back of them. Leonard's car was obviously having some problems with handling. We'll see if he's able to make anything happen and able to mount a charge on JC. Oh, here's the 17 car out here. We see the 13 car. Let's see what's getting ready to happen here. Here we go. Here, here's the payback. 13 gets him this time. Looks like the 17 is out of the race, disconnected here from incident points. And looks like several other competitors are involved in that. We're back on board with JC. Looking back at the number 8 car of David Leonard. It's been all David's up until just a moment ago when JC took over the lead. David Leonard in the 13 car. You saw him voicing his frustrations. He was the pole sitter. He got roughed up and knocked out of competition. And that gave the lead over to the number 8 car, driven by David Leonard. But JC has taken it over. And now we're drawing up on the end of this race here. Coming around next time by, it'll be two laps to go here. A lot of lap traffic. Let's see if JC's able to navigate his way through this traffic. Lap cars, we saw them in the last race, definitely providing an event in the deciding factor of the race, taking out the leader. We'll see if it happens this time. 
JC navigating his way through turn four. Barney has the white flag at hand. One more lap to go here at Southern National in our week 13 street stock action. Does David Lerner have anything for JC? JC drives it through turn two now on the back straightaway for the final time. Leonard's going to have to close up even closer if he wants to have a dive bomb attempt and a bump. It's not going to happen. JC's able to come off turn four, and he's going to see the checkered flag in hand. Barney's going to win, but JC is going to win here at USA International Speedway. Boy, that's a heck of a way to cap off that championship here, the Division Four championship. He's got, he got that unlock, and he captured a win here to seal the deal. Very impressive performance here by JC, coming home with the checkered flag and winning. As you see the rest of the field coming across the line. Tim, any final thoughts on this race? Well, I'll tell you that we saw tempers flaring here, and justifiably so. It was definitely a typical short track race where we saw a lot of contact, a lot of beating and banging, and a lot of bruised feelings here. But there's one perk cat who's real happy. There's JC in the number one car, winner of the race. He's got his car parked down here by the start finish line. Undoubtedly, the victory celebration is going to commence, and here we go. Here's JC doing the victory burnouts. And the fireworks are going off in the background as he celebrates. Impressive win here for JC. Coming up on David Leonard with in the final few laps and was able to maneuver past him and drive off for the victory. We hope you enjoyed our coverage of Week 13 Street Stock action. If you liked our videos, click the subscribe button. If you have any suggestions for more videos that we should cover, leave them in the comments section. Yep, my buddy Kenny Wallace is always telling people to leave, leave, leave a comment. Leave a comment if you've got any suggestions. Leave a comment if you got any criticism. Leave a comment if you got anything to say here. Just put a comment down here. Read the comments. We'll try to see if we can do something better. We'll try to cover something that you guys want to see us cover. Just let us know. Celebration continuing here with JC, giving the fans on the back straightaway a show. Definitely taking it in. See the car now navigating its way through the track, doing the reverse victory lap, which Alan Quickie made so famous. Barney's still waving the checkered flag as JC comes to park his car in victory lane. Well, Barney's got to have like one of the strongest arms in in the world. I mean, you, he just constantly waving the flag here. I mean, I don't, does he ever take a break? Does he sleep? Does he eat? I mean, you, Barney Barney needs to get like some type of reward or something. Celebration continuing in victory lane as JC continues to burn it down. Once again, we'd like to thank you for watching our broadcast, and if you have any suggestions about future videos, leave them in the comment section. For XLRN and Tim Band, this has been Ken Jones signing off.